everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, has it been a long little hiatus for me, but I am back. I've been doing some traveling with Yaniv, so we've been here, there, everywhere, and it's kind of been crazy to actually sit down in front of the camera and film anything. But nicely enough, Merit Beauty reached out to me and they're like, hey, we wanna gift you some of our products to test out for your subscribers. And I was like, hey, you guys are a brand that I see everywhere on Instagram and social media, so I would love to try you guys out. This is the look that I created. So if you're interested in minimalistic, simplistic, and less is more makeup, then keep watching. Okay, so we are going to start by just covering up any of my acne that I have. So let me show you guys. I got the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. I might try it on a pimple that I know is like already healed just to see how it covers. But the ones that are a little bit more like upset and... Honestly, I'm just scared of putting new complexion products on my face, but since this one is like a healed, just like like post acne like mark, I will try it on that one. But all of my more active pimples, I'm going to use my, where did it go? My uh, tried and true um, NARS uh, concealer, which is in light to vanilla. So I'm gonna quickly conceal everything else and I'll leave this one for my chin over here just so we can test it out. But I won't be doing a full face because one, I don't use full face foundation products anyway. And two, this one is tried and true and I do have breakouts and this never, never, never makes me break out. So I know that this is my go-to whenever I have a few blemishes here and there to cover. So I have most of them concealed now. Again, I never go for like a full, full coverage just because I, you know, spots are spots, you will see them. I just like to tone down the redness a little bit. It makes me feel better. And notice that I have a little bit of shininess in my forehead. So before I go into double conceal, like just get any little marks that are still peeking through, I'm gonna go in with my uh, Etude House, they're the Sebum Pack. Let's see if it'll focus right here. And it's just like a white powder. And this is the thing. And then you get a little puff with it. And I'm going to go in on my forehead a little bit. Normally I use a brush, but my brush isn't here. So I'm just going to quickly go in with the powder puff. And you can see it totally mattifies, which is really nice because I'm an oily girl. So all of my oily, oily, oily. <laughs> so if you're oily also, you know the struggle sometimes. And this is so portable and it's just so nice. And I really do love Etude House as a brand itself. I believe it's Korean. Yeah, it's a Korean brand. So right there, it mattifies everything and it just makes it easier to go about your day without oily skin, which I really enjoy. Throw this in like my fanny pack and just go on my day. So it's really nice. Now, we are going to get into the uh, Perfecting Complexion Stick from them. I got it in linen. I think this might be a little bit dark. If you do notice, I like to conceal light on my face. I go much lighter than my own shade so I can... Um, really blend it into my skin. I find if it's even a little bit too dark, it really does stand out because I am so pale. So like I was saying, I'm not sure if this is going to be a perfect like concealing shade. It might be better for my entire face. I think I should have gone lighter, but again, we will see. Here is the shade. You can already see it is a lot darker than my face. I think I overestimated how tanned I got this summer. But the packaging, it is very luxe. I love how, let's see if it'll focus. I love how that's imprinted into it. Like it's actually like you could feel it. So it's really, really beautiful with their logo there. Merit in gold. Very, very high quality, like luxurious packaging. And then just the sticker on the other side. And then when you open it, it is a twist and the product is round. It looks like, like blurring sticks kind of, so I'm interested to see how pigmented it is. Let's see what focus on my face. Oh, it's actually not a terrible, let's see if it'll focus. It's not a terrible match. It is a little bit darker. Let's see what I can do with the magic of blending. It's actually not too bad. Oh, actually that is really nice. I 
Again, I don't ever go for like a perfect, perfect conceal. It's way too hard, mentally way too exhausting to like aim for this perfect canvas. Skin is real, skin is textured, skin has marks. So I feel like that is the way that I conceal just so that the main focus isn't the redness that I've either picked at or heavily irritated. So if I can get like the main gist just toned down a little bit, that is usually the goal. I feel like this whole search for perfection and everything and trying to make the canvas perfect, very unrealistic, very time consuming, and you just look super cakey at the end of it. There's no way to really like miraculously cover all of your uh, redness and all of your texture. Like sometimes it just, it doesn't happen and that's okay. I'm going to go in on this side because this one is being a little bit finicky. It has a little bit of a scab on it, so it is like textured acne. So I'm going to see if this stick does a better job at gripping it, which that goes to show that it is <laughs> something that I'm grabbing now, which is nice. So we'll see. Yeah, that definitely covered it a little bit better. So yeah, as far as something for spot concealing, I enjoy Again, not perfect, not looking for that though. Looking for more of a covered, toned down, eased look because acne happens. So yeah, I don't think it's gonna get much more perfect than that because it is a scab. So it has different tones and I'm not color correcting. But that is the basic base. And I feel like that's pretty good. I might get rid of some oiliness there with my eye cushion so I'm just gonna go in a little bit especially when I'm filming or using the camera if you do like zoom or anything this is so nice because whenever you have like uneven lighting or lighting from a whole bunch of different directions it's nice to sort of tone down and control where you look oily and where you look greasy which if we're already looking like this at the beginning of the day because of our skincare I like to tone it down a little bit because I will get a lot grease here. Merit so also sent me their brush number one blending brush. They are a newer a newer company, obviously, so they're they just have number one. I don't think they have any other brushes, but it's a very cute. Whoa, that's a soft brush. Look at that. Woo, so nice. Ooh, it's hard to see with the shadowing here, but. Very nice, and again, the logo at the bottom. I'm gonna use this to put on some blush. I got the blush in two colors. Their blush is called, let me read it, Flush Blush, uh, Flush Bomb, actually, sorry, which is cute, because when you blush, you're flushing. So there is two colors here that I asked for. It was Mood and Terracotta. Mood is a cheek color, they're both cheek colors but Mood is more of a deep berry color. With fall coming in the holiday season, I feel like it is super nice to have a more berry color in your collection. And then I love my safe colors. I love my browns. I feel like I have like brownie pink lips and obviously dark hair and dark eyes. So I like browns as my blushes. So Terracotta is a classic favorite of mine, as you can see here. Very nice, easy color every single day. Today, I think I'm gonna go with the more berry color just to show you guys. So we're going to, I think I'm gonna warm it up on my hand. Whoa, that was oily. Okay, so it is very easy. And we're going to attack this cream colored brush and just go on my cheeks. Oh, this is a really nice brush. Hmm. Again, I'm somebody who really loves my cheeks, so I like to accentuate them, and that is why I go usually all over my cheeks. I like the darkness and the super flush. I'm not somebody who shies away from blush. I like accentuating my cheeks. I know some people try to contour them away. I'm a big fan of my cheeks, so I like to accentuate them. This does give you the glow back in your cheeks, so that glow that you saw me remove with the, with the cushion compact, it does bring it back, so bear that in mind if you are more oily. You definitely want to know that, I figure. I'm gonna use a little bit more. 
and the brush is very soft and it actually blends it really nicely doesn't keep a lot of the product it did deposit it right on my cheeks as you saw I'm a fan I feel like it is a very easy and usable color it's not as pigmented as I assumed it would be which is nice as you can see on my hand it does look like there's like a little bit of a tint left which is nice because it is on my cheeks I went a little crazy and I gave myself a bit of a red nose so we're gonna tone that back down but I think overall it, it just gives like a it's like a flush it is that's exactly the perfect word for this product I know that some people mentioned that compared to their other products packaging, this one looks a little bit less luxurious, but I actually don't mind it. I like products that are able to show me the colors. I feel like with blushes, it is really important. Like if these were in a stick form, you wouldn't really be able to see it. And I feel like if you have these sitting in a drawer, you go terracotta and mood and you know exactly which ones they are. So I do appreciate the packaging like that. I have to be honest. I am not somebody who's too finicky about that, but I do like being able to see these. I feel like it does fit in with the gold package, uh, gold writing and gray packaging, but some people just felt like it was cheap looking on the top with the plastic. I think I'm going to layer on a bit of terracotta to my cheeks just to try it out and just to make it a little bit more brown toned because like I said, I'm a sucker for a good brown blush. And we're gonna use the same brush. Doesn't have to be clean, doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, it's very very nice i'm gonna go blush crazy people are gonna be like are you okay <laughs> you okay you got a lot of blush on your face yeah i think it's very cute again it's more of like tint shades and i feel like these two mix nicely with the red tones and the brown tones like the berry tones and then i just go over it and blend it all together now, next up, I got a brow product, which I don't normally get brow product that's tinted, but I saw their Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade, and I thought, why not? I haven't had volumizing pomade in a while. I'm very particular with my brows. I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Those have been my ride or die for this entire year. I traveled with it. I brought it with me on vacation. Like, I absolutely loved it. So I'm just gonna brush up my brows and we are going to see what happens here. I think I'm gonna try one brow a little bit further back here with my mirror and then I'll zoom up and show you what I did because I'm not sure how I'm going to actually use this. Comes in a luxe, this feels heavy, this feels nice. So I guess I kind of understand it. It's not as luxe as the, um, what are these called, the cheek colors. But again, I'm not too picky with my packaging. I just like that it looks cute and it's in theme with like the gold and stuff. So we're gonna do this brow. I have nothing, I just brushed my brows and this is in color brown. So you guys can see obviously. Oh, okay, so again, this is why I never liked volumizing pomades like from any brand, just because they're kind of messy. This one has a nice thin brush, but again, it is messy. I appreciate um, tinted brow products because I have a lot of blonde hairs believe it or not like mixed into here so it's nice to give them some life but on the other hand I have really dark brow hairs too so I'm not sure how much this does for me per se but it's nice to have like an all-in-one sort of giving me color so I don't have to draw in my brows anywhere but again I usually do draw it in to define it more but can you kind of see it? I think you can kind of see it. It adds a little bit of color, nothing too crazy, but it does style it down very nicely. If I were actually doing my makeup, I would definitely go back in and define my front brow just because it's not as strong down here and I like a more crisp line. So normally, sorry, I can put this far too down. Normally the only thing I do is just draw little strokes underneath this front area just to make it look more defined. That's literally all I do. You can see compared to my other brow, this one just looks much more defined, which is something I enjoy. I feel like that was very natural though as far as minimalistic makeup goes. 
it is very very nice and it did a great job at shaping and like my brows feel like they're glued down so I will definitely be incorporating this product and probably do like a follow-up either on Instagram which if you're not following me already I made a new Instagram that's specifically dedicated to my YouTube and skincare content. Before I was sort of mixed in with my like personal Instagram, that was just a disaster because I'd be posting to like basically my audience and then like my personal friends and family. So it just got a little overwhelming to separate work and my personal life. So I did do a whole new Instagram so I could share more reels and pictures on the daily and like cool stories that are more makeup and skincare related just for my audience here on YouTube. We're going to go in with my other eye. So again, like I said, I will zoom in so you can see the more before and after. I'm going to comb my brows just because regardless of product I'm using. I love making my brows look more... <laughs> I always expect it to be the smaller one. I like making my brows look more defined. So we're going to go in. I like using a light hand with tinted products. Like, I mean, I don't hate it. And this is the first time I haven't hated a volumizing tinted product. I actually really like it, <laughs> which is surprising because I never like products like this. Again, I probably would still define the front of my brow. That's more of an Erica problem than the product's problem. My brows are kind of wonky in the front. They just don't have as much definition. So again, I just like adding that line to define it a little bit better. Brows are done. Erica approves brows, for sure. I feel like it looks very put together. It's very well defined. How do we feel about them? It's like not too crazy, still very natural, which is very cool, because I feel like I could actually use this product on the go and not have to bring like a makeup remover with me because I wouldn't mess it up. Like I wouldn't get it all over my face, which is nice. Next up, we are going to use Clean Lash. I believe this is the product that has won, maybe it was the brush. They have a few products that have won like Allure prizes for this year, which is really nice. I will mention, I will like pop up the Allure sticker if it is this one or the brush, but um, definitely they have products that have won awards, which is nice for a newer brand. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I've recently been really into curling them. My brother's girlfriend does it all the time and I'm like, oof, I need to because her lashes are beautiful. Just that one extra step that if you have longer lashes or straighter lashes, it makes a big difference. This is their, so again, it's their perfect black mascara. They only have one mascara, so. If you look on their website or wherever you end up purchasing Merit Beauty, you won't miss it. Oh, this is really nice. This kind of reminds me of like the Glossier one where it's very easy to use. It stays clean. It doesn't clump. Like you can see that already. It's so nice. I feel like as far as a mascara goes, that was super easy to use and I didn't even have to dip back into the bottle and these look beautiful. My the last product I received from Merit Beauty is their tinted lip oil. And now because I said that we're nearing into the holiday season and we're in the peak of fall, I wanted a really deep dramatic lip. So I felt like it was the perfect color to test for you guys because I know that I'm somebody who looks at reds on websites and like, wow, like if only I had the guts sort of to do that and wear it. So I'm gonna be your guinea pig right now. It is a tinted lip oil, so it shouldn't be too dramatic, but it definitely will add some color to my lips. I'm not gonna line them or anything, but we're just going to go in with them and see, I'm excited. So there, I feel like this is your perfect ease into color. It's nothing crazy, but say for example, you were going to like a uh, family member's house for the holidays or a work party or a school event or something. I feel like this is a very easy color to work into your routine. Nothing crazy. It is more of like a tint, like those typical uh, Korean tint products, but once you get it on, it's beautiful. I really do enjoy this color. This has been a massive success for Merit and for me liking the brand. I feel like I will definitely look into picking up more of their lip products. They are very nice. They're 
mascara and brow products might just make their way into my staples. As far as the blushes, I am somebody who is very particular with blush. These are very, very oily. I like something that's a little bit more tacky and doesn't leave me so greasy. So do I love them? I don't think so, but they are really, really nice if you're looking for more of a hydrating blush. But me, I feel like I am so oily that it just really accentuates my oil on my cheeks. So I would, I would probably tone them down. It's already looking a little excessive. The color is nice, but like I said, I do have other favorites that do the same job and don't leave me nearly as greasy and oily. So I would definitely opt out of the blush. But if you're somebody who has drier skin, like I know my mom has really dry skin and I feel like she would really appreciate these because of how moisturizing and they give you that glow if you don't naturally have that with your sebum production. And yeah, I feel like this concealer from them, I would have to try more so far. I do like it again. I will insert a little post clip to see how it's done throughout the day. But again, it is something that I did gravitate towards to cover this pimple. So the color match was really good. So again, if you're my color, I am in the concealer color vanilla two or light two vanilla. And if you're looking at the Merit website, linen is our color. It does match very, very, very nicely. So if you are as pale as me or as light as me, then you know which color is yours. So I hope that helps. As far as the makeup, this is pretty much it. It's a very minimalistic look, but I do feel well put together. I would go out to a family event or a party with this makeup on. It is beautiful. And I do feel like my most beautiful natural self, which is something I do really appreciate from brand because less is more and that is one of their like catchphrases, their slogan. So less is more. And I feel like this has done the perfect, perfect mission. And as far as the products that they've chosen, less is more. And they've conveyed that kind of like a Glossier brand, but again, it, more sophisticated than Glossier and like the darker, richer, deeper tones for their packaging versus like the pinks. I have missed you all so much. So definitely leave me little updates in the comments about your lives and what's going on. Cause I know in the season of change, there is always so much going on and I'd love to connect with you guys. I know that I've been going through some major life changes with like moving, relocating, finding out who I am, trying to find myself through again, what I love, my passions and my hobbies and just trying to figure out where I want to be in life. It's hard and I know that it's important to have people to talk to and I really did miss my community and I feel like that is a main reason why I am back here filming videos because you guys mean so much to me and the conversations I've had and the people I've met through these videos and through making content is just so special and I'm very happy to be back. So definitely leave me a comment or go follow me on Instagram so you can keep up to date with me and I can keep up to date with you guys. It is really so important to me and it does mean the world to me. So I'll see you next time.